Congressman Scott, and uh, it's a pleasure to be with uh, Congressman Cohen and uh, Congresswoman Fudge, and all of you. Uh, I uh, feel privileged to stand with you this morning. Uh, I feel privileged possibly because of my faith, maybe because of my training by my grandmother, uh, that it is important to be sure that we do the right thing. Congresswoman Lee, let me reaffirm the fact that we joined with you to fight to include the 99ers in the last uh, legislative session in the tax bill. But unfortunately, the right thing was not done. Let me explain to you why this is not only an emergency, legitimately, but also absolutely without thought uh, that we would allow individuals who worked to go without uh, the employment insurance that they have paid for. Did we allow the Wall Street barons to leave without golden parachutes? Did we allow the Wall Street barons to go without bonuses? They say they worked. Some say they have deserved bonuses. Others argue that they deserve these enormous severance packages. What about the working American who has made this economy churn? This is a bread and butter bill. And I would like to side on the side of bread and butter allowing individuals to live, to thrive, and to survive. As we see the mounting foreclosures, which has not stopped, and the failed system of helping people keep their homes, what more are we going to put on hardworking Americans? And so I support this bill enthusiastically, call for it to be declared an emergency, ask us to move forward, because who would deny a child simply bread and butter? And who would suggest that all of these workers are any less credible any less dynamic, any less uh, contributing to our society than golden age, bonus-filled Wall Street barons who have left with all of the money because they say they've worked. Well, I know that these persons have worked, and I join you, Congresswoman, in supporting this legislation. Thank you, Thank you very much.